Hey, my friends, Tony here. I just got back from speaking on Fox today. It was amazing. It was our local Fox channel here. And uh, one of the things that I love about this, it's called The Place, and I just got done speaking there, is that they do the whole thing live. Uh, some other shows that I've been on in the past, they, they pre-record the show and then they air it at the specific time, but they have the opportunity to go through and correct all the mistakes. And, you know, if the mic goes out, you can, you can correct that. Well, there were two things that happened today. So I don't get on TV too much. I've been on a couple of times, but not too much. And it's been about two years since I've been on TV. And uh, so I went in today and, and uh, we went on air and it was great. We had a great discussion, Big Buddha and I, uh, for those that are locally here, you know who Big Buddha is. We got on, we had a good chat in the, in the commercial segment. And, and then we were live in 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're live and it's live. I mean, there's no recording here. And so we have a great discussion. And I had five points that I was gonna share of really how you can cause permanent change in your life. And, and uh, I, had, I had written these five bullet points down, but the way that they had asked me to write it was if I could have five topics of discussion of, of what I could send to them. And so I just wrote down five topics of discussion that could be possible. And, and so he's writing down, I wrote down these five, I sent them to the editor. So now we're on air. And we haven't gone through the five things. And by the way, I haven't thought about the five things since the time that I wrote them. And, uh, and so luckily for the first four, he read, you know, hey, you, you say that number two is this. You say that number three is this. Hey, the number four was this. Can you expound upon that? And so it was easy because I was like, sure. And so I just do expound about it. Then we get to number five. He says, now, Tony, I want you to just share number five with us. And then after you tell number five to us, uh, you know, we'll just share where people can contact you. Mind blank, completely blank, live TV. Now, a lot of people would freeze here. I don't know about you, and maybe you'd make a comment. Would you freeze here? For me, I've done this enough now that I just, you know, you own it. You gotta own your mistakes. So I, I just looked at him, I was like, uh, could you tell me what number five was? Uh, and so, oh yeah, 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 it's words. And how do words influence? And I, so I went off and I shared with him how words influence your mind, um, the power of words. But I didn't remember that that was my fifth bullet point. So a couple of things. And, and then also my mic went out. And, and so he's now pulling his mic and he's like, here, come here closer to me and let's hear. And so we're literally like this far apart and we're finishing the interview with me hovering over his mic to finish the interview. And, and so the point is this, like, I could be embarrassed about this, but guess what? You just got to own it. You got to laugh. You got to fail. You got to make mistakes. And then you just own it. And then when you own it, you can make cool videos like this, you know, and you can share with people your mistakes. And so I shared a meme the other day, and, and you may have seen the meme that I shared on, on Facebook, um, but I, I just love this. It's by Eric uh, Greetens, and he says this, the excellent fail more often than the mediocre. They begin more, they attempt more, they attack more. Mastery lives quietly atop a mountain of mistakes. And so I would just ask you, what mistakes are you making? And own it. Just own the failures. Own the times when you fall on your face and just create lessons out of it. Create opportunities to learn and to teach other people. And so for me, it's like these were two blunders that happened on live TV. And guess what? Buddha and I, we just rolled with it. We just rolled with it because that's what you have to do with life. You just got to roll with the punches. So I make a comment of what, what things have you learned this week where you've had to roll with the punches? Have you had a moment where you had to do that? Roll with the punches, share it with us. We'd love to know. Anyways, fail often. And then when you do fail, own up to it and just say, look, I failed. I, I fell down. And, and this is what I learned from it. So I hope that that's what you can learn from me today. Have an amazing week and we'll chat soon.